What is the first step in factoring? Look for a common factor. There is none other than one or negative one. Notice this time we have the difference of two cubes. Now you may not have covered this on your syllabus, so if you did not, pass this one on by. This is the difference of two cubes. If you did factor sum and difference of cubes, let's go ahead. I would take an intermediate step and write each term as some quantity cubed. Now 1 is easy because 1 is 1 cubed. What about 64x cubed? What about 64? 64 is 4 cubed and x cubed is of course x cubed. Can you see I haven't changed it? 4 cubed is 64 and x cubed is x cubed and then 1 cubed is 1. But I find that it helps to take this intermediate step of writing each term as a cube. Then as I factor it will be a binomial times a trinomial. And seeing the binomial is simple if you just cover your cubes up in this intermediate step. Notice you have 4x minus 1. That is the binomial. And now let's write the trinomial and it's always the same. This first term is this complete first term squared. So 4x times 4x which is 16x squared. The sign is always the opposite of this sign so it'd be plus. The middle term is always this first 4x times the second term 1. So what's 4x times 1? It's 4x. This next sign is always plus. And then the last is this 1 squared. What is 1 squared? It is 1. And I have factored completely. You can check by multiplication.